Breaking tonight, throughout the hour, we've been showing you some of this shocking video out of Arizona, vividly depicting the moment three police officers are struck by a fast moving car in an incident that's now being described as a quote, violent, intentional act. Now there is new information about the man in the driver's seat who is facing attempted murder charges tonight. Trace Gallagher has the story in our West Coast newsroom. Trace? Megan, the Phoenix police chief says not only was it violent and intentional, it was unprovoked, and the video appears to back him up. It's just after 1 o'clock in the morning. Police say the surveillance camera on the top, top right hand side of the screen shows the suspect, 44 year old Mark Laquan Payne, an African American male, pull his Nissan Altima up near the gas pump of a Phoenix convenience store. On the bottom right hand side of the screen, you see his headlights are shining directly on three Phoenix police officers, including a Rookie on his first day. The officers are in uniform standing near a patrol car in a very well lit area. Then you can see the man in the Nissan backs his car into a parking spot and then turns off the lights. Several minutes then go by before the suspect pulls out of the parking spot, turns on his lights, goes around the gas pump, and watch this goes directly at the police officers. The rookie officer was thrown up into the air. You see him go into the store window. Window. Another suffered a broken leg. The third officer jumped out of the way. The suspect then tries to fight the officers, but amazingly, the rookie and the sergeant who jumped out of the way were able to get up, tase, and subdue the man. And the chief says they were clearly targeted. Listen. It's unacceptable. I've been in law enforcement for over 30 years, and I've seen a lot of things, but I have never seen so many senseless, violent acts targeting law enforcement. And tonight, the Kelly file has confirmed the suspect was convicted of three counts of aggravated assault back in 1997 and is now facing three counts of attempted murder, and we are investigating his connection to other groups. Megan. Trace, thank you.